Now let's take a little bit more time to continue to shape our base and then we'll try to extrude out the large wings. So you can see looking from the front view that this is really squared off and we really want this top edge to be a little bit down closer to uh, the body. Now we also want to, I don't really want to have to deal with the other side of this geometry. So there are several ways we can go about building something like this that's symmetrical. So in this case, we're kind of moving points around. And so sometimes I will actually delete half of the model and then just work on one half. And I know that at any time I can duplicate that over and create the other half. Just gives me kind of less visually to have to concentrate on. But we can also use the symmetry settings here in Maya to do uh, to be able to kind of move everything the same because that's what really, really what we want. When we move something on one side, we want to know that the same point on the other side is going to be in the same spot. So let's double click on our move tool and we can come down in the tool settings down to symmetry and we can turn on our symmetry. So we can say object or world space and we'll do uh, across the X axis. So I'm just going to use world X. So now when I grab a point over here, I'm going to grab the same point on that side. So when we move this up and down or out or in, it's going to mirror that action on the other side. So this will allow us to come in and start to shape this. So let's start to bring these points and you can do this with edges or, uh, or points. So I just want to start to bring this down and in. Let's do the same thing here, kind of down and in. It's hard to explain kind of the line that I'm following here, but it's kind of the base of the wing. Kind of aside from this piece, kind of what's underneath there, kind of thinking about where the base of that wing is going to be. So again, it doesn't have to be an exact match, but I just want to create more of kind of a rounded off shape here uh, for our side and also kind of bring these down a little bit as well. Let's do the same he thing here up on the front where it's a little bit harder to tell where exactly we want that to be. And let's pull this one down a little bit as well. And then for the bottom, I want to do something similar. So I really want the those points on the bottom, I really want to kind of push those in a little bit. So we can grab a couple at a time if we want to. Kind of push that in a bit. And then coming up here towards the front, kind of do the same, same kind of thing. And you can see we've got a lot of resolution up here as we're starting to get into these points that are closer to the front where we've got everything is kind of squeezed into a smaller area. So let's try to get to something like this where we, we lose that sort of a little bit of that cube kind of shape. I'll also start to take these points on the top and kind of move those out a little. So just kind of flattening off the top but leaving the sort of the roundness on the sides. And so this top is going to kind of serve as the base for our cockpit area and things like that. So something like that. Now up to this point, we've just taken a cube and we've just moved points around. We've kind of added some lines on the cube, but we haven't really added any new geometry coming off of the cube. It's still kind of a cube shape. We've just modified the shape a bit. And so at this point, let's take a look at how we can start to add new geometry. So I'm going to do is go to a face selection. So right click face. And we're going to choose some faces that we want to be involved in adding that new geometry. So you can see here where we've got this little area here right before the wing comes out, right here too. So think of there being a line kind of here. So I want to extrude that section out first before we extrude out the wing itself. And so let's see, it's actually going to be all the way up here. So there are several ways we can do our extrude. In the modeling toolkit, we can use extrude, which is located right here. We can also uh, do extrude uh, by coming in here 
the edit mesh and using extrude and also control E is the hotkey for that. And when you do an extrude, it's going to bring up your in view editor, which will allow you to change certain values. And so um, we can go ahead and create an offset, which in this case I, I, I don't want to do yet because I do want it to be a little bit more of a, a smooth transition. So um, instead of doing our offset like that, which in a lot of cases I would recommend doing because it would kind of tighten up that edge, let's just add some thickness to it, okay? You can see we have thickness and local translate. Um, we have those values on just like that. And you can see where this will come out just like that. Now, if we translate or, or change over to our translate tool, then we can kind of move these points down. And if we want to, we can come in and modify those in the same way we were modifying everything else. So I could grab, in this case, let's just grab some edges here instead of the points. And I've still got symmetry turned on. And so I can say, okay, it needs to come out to right about there. And then the ones, this one, kind of come out a little bit. And then up towards the front, this you can see blends back into the body. And so somehow I want this these points, this to kind of come back in and connect in with the body. So in this case, what I want to do is weld those points together. Let's go to a vertex selection. I'm going to use target weld, and this is in the modeling toolkit. We'll select the point we want to weld, click and drag it to the point we want to weld it to. Now notice that does create triangles, so if your model has to be quads, then that's something that you can leave the triangle sort of shape, but not actually weld the points together. I'll just modify this a little bit. Just grabbing that edge and kind of pulling it out a little. So we end up with something along those lines. And you can see that base kind of right there. We will be um, sort of bending this, and so uh, you can see it doesn't match up quite right yet, but you, know, you can come in and, and modify that a little bit. But we are, keep in mind, we are going to be adding a little bit of a bend to it, but if you wanted to kind of bring these points down a little, you could do that. Kind of grab this whole side, kind of bring it down a little bit. So get it to a point where it's somewhere close to that. And then in the next lesson, let's actually extrude out the upper wing. And then we'll also extrude out kind of a lower uh, wing as well. And we'll be able to kind of create a nice bend to this. So let's go ahead and do that next.